My name is James, and I'm here to introduce you to our new product. This is an HDMI 2x2 matrix. This allows two inputs and two outputs that you can, be, you can switch independently. So here I have the, this unit right here. This is, this is the unit. The part number for this is the R014-MTX-202. Now you have two switch buttons. That switch controls the output, that's, that switches the inputs. And then you have the output and the input LEDs. This, the first two shows output one and the inputs for A and B. The second two shows the LEDs for the output two and the inputs A and B. Lastly, here you have the IR. This is because ours come with a remote control, which I'll show you later. And another, the last button is a reset button. That's the front side. Now the back side. This is how the back side looks. So. Here, on the back side, we have the, you see the HDMI ports, so the, you have the two inputs, A and B, and the two outputs, one and two. Also, additionally, we have the, another a port, a jack for the R232. This is used to control the matrix, if you have a R232 console, controller. Yeah, let me introduce, now let me turn this back around, and let me introduce you to our equipment that we're using. So. For this, I'm going to be using two players. These are both Blu-ray players, and they're both set at 1080p, 60 hertz, as well as two TVs. Yeah, and these are all 1080p TVs. The cables I'll be using are just basically regular HDMI 28 gauge cables. Now, like I said earlier, there's a remote control, and this is the remote control. This is what could be used to control the inputs for each output. As well as also it comes with a R S two two cable. This is what goes to your R S two two controller, which I have, and I'll do that. And for the my R S two two controller, I'm using an actual PC, which is out outside in a different area. But I can show you how that the kind of controls and commands for that. And I will up near the end. So let's start. Get started. So first, let me con connect the players. So here you see that these two are I have a sort of player. A player A and player B. So you start connecting them. Player A and B. As well as the outputs. Output 1, output 2. And you plug in the power. Actually, before I do that, also need to plug in the R222. And connect to the computer. And then that's the power. So here you go. So once you put the power in, you see the power LED lights up as well as as well as output one input A and output two input A. So now let's get started and let me turn the player the players on. So here you see. The video will come up. Now let me unmute this. Turn the volume on, please. The president has invoked ghost protocol. Right here, down. you see the audio for both these. So. It's passing through right now. I have an input A. So, and let me show you the resolution. You look at the resolution, you see it. So, here you see right now I have both on input A. Now, like I said, we have a few ways of changing sources. First, you have the buttons in front right here. So, let me change one, let me change output one. So this is what Matrix does. It you can have different outputs and inputs, different inputs for different outputs. So here you see, this is the second player I have. I hit play here. So one could play, one could be playing something. Another video could play, TV could play somewhere else, play something else. This is what Matrix does. So again, let me change it again. So here, let me switch output two to input B. 
Now, everything you do, so you have to, uh, have to resync and reset, so that's why the button plays out. But here you see it come back up. Portable. Again, they're both 1080p, 60 hertz. So that's the first, so that's one way of changing the inputs. Second way is with the remote control. So you, like I said earlier, you had the IR here. It's for this controller. Now, each the numbers on the controller correspond to the output. So you press up the button one, it cycles the input for output one. You press button number two, it cycles the input for out, for output two. So let me change the output one. So I just hit one, and you notice it changed from input B to input A. Here you see both. Cool. Now let me change. Let me try to do something else. Like change. Let me change input one, output one, and output two. So hit one first. Hit two. Then so one comes up. One gets changed. Then two. So here you see. Output one got changed. Output got changed. They got switched around. So that's the second way of changing it. Now, the third way is with the RX-222. Can you, let me mute this real quick. Now, remember I said we have an RX-222 control, and that was a computer. So here, let me show you how it works. So let me bring the monitor here. Now, this monitor is connected to the PC. I have out of screen. And then the PC is, con is also connected to this unit through that RX-222 jack. And you have to have a R S T two controls command, a software, or you might have your own personal one. I down just downloaded one called TerraTerm, and here, this is what it does. So in the settings, you have settings for it. It's all in the manual, but main thing is the serial port has to be selected for the baud rate has to be fifty seven six hundred. So this is what our setting is for this TerraTerm. This is what our unit reads, particularly this baud rate. Okay. Now, let me really quickly reset the unit for you to show you something. I just took the power and plug it back in. Now, this is what you're supposed to see here. HDMI matrix 2x2, two two, F2F, meaning what this unit does, HDMI to HDMI. And then you see the compile time and then the version. So basically what you see here is ready to use. Now, with my keyboard here, we have like three commands you can use. First command is FTE, which shows status. And here you see output 1A, output 2A, meaning basically what it says shows in the LDR here is output 1 and output 2 is both on A, input A. Now, if I want to change it, we have a command called S switch, it's SW. So SW, then you select the output you want, and you select output 1, and then you press space, and then input you want. Let me go B. On the unit, it changes output 1 to B. And same with the pictures back here. So you look at STE again. On STE, you'll see a change from output 1 to B, but output 2 is the same. I can do it again. SW, now you change S, output 2, SW2, space, B. And then you change SW1 back to A. So let me, and then, so that way, now I'll change the outputs for 1 and 2. Here you see. Well, just make sure I muted the I muted the audio on these so you don't hear the sound. So if I go STE again, you know these got changed again. These got these got basically got swapped. Now the last command we have is basically a power down command, which is PWD. Based which is powers off the unit. So here you see, all the LEDs are off except for the power. Basically it powers down the unit. And if you look at the if you hit STE again, you'll show you right here. I'll show output 1, idle, output 2, idle. Basically, it just cuts off the signals for all the inputs and outputs. Turn it back on, you just hit PWD again, and you'll see the LEDs come back to what originally was set. So, whatever you turned off with, it comes back to the same thing. It does not get reset or anything like that. And that's it again for this unit.